In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create this abstract boho landscape design in just a few easy steps. We will make two versions of it, and you can follow this tutorial even if you're a complete beginner to Procreate. Make sure to download free tutorial files under the video, and now if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. To draw this landscape, I've created a canvas with the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels. It will be an easy one to paint, but we are gonna use quite a few textures both from Procreate and external ones that I took from my patron-only brush sets. You can download the textures along with the color palette via the free Gumroad link in the video description. If you enjoy learning Procreate with my free YouTube tutorials and want to take your drawing skills to a whole new level, please consider joining our creative community on Patreon, where you can find in-depth and super detailed drawing tutorials in different styles, including realism, also brush making videos, and download hundreds of premium quality brushes. If you join right now, you'll get a free 7-day trial. It's a limited offer, so don't miss this unique opportunity. I think we are all set up now, so let's begin drawing. We will start by creating the frame, then draw mountains with a lake, add some trees and the sun, and at the end apply various textures on top. When the drawing is ready, I will show you how you can turn it from daytime into a nighttime illustration easily. To draw the frame in the easy way, let's use symmetry. To activate it, let's go to Actions, and then in the Canvas tab, activate Drawing Guide, just by tapping here. Then go to Edit Drawing Guide, and select Symmetry from this menu. If you go to Options, we can select one of the guide options here. We need Vertical, and activate Assisted Drawing, then click Done. To match the tips better, we need to use a brush that is non-tapered, like Monoline from Calligraphy Set. As the base color for the outlines, let me select color 15. Then we can set the size to 60% and draw a vertical line. If we tap on the canvas, it'll go perfectly straight, so we can adjust the length, like this. Now we also need to match it at the bottom. We can start drawing from one side, then also tap on the canvas like this. And on the top side, I want to draw an arc. Let's start from here, and also try to match it. If it didn't match at the end, you can click Edit Arc and adjust the location. Mine worked just great. And now that the frame is ready, we can start adding the colors. So I will go and remove the drawing guide from the canvas. In the next step we can change the background color. For that I will create a layer under this one. So I'm just clicking on this plus button here. And then we can drag it underneath. Let's pick color 1 from the palette. And just drag it on the canvas like this. After that I will create a layer between these two. Let's now tap the layer with the frame. And from this menu, select Reference. So now if we go to the new layer and try to fill it, it will fill only the area inside. Let's try. We can use color 2 here. I will start dragging it inside the shape. And adjust color dot threshold. to remove all the gaps between the frame and the color. Now after we did that, let's go ahead and create another layer above, but then also clip it. So when we start drawing mountains, all the colors will stay inside this shape. And to be able to fill them, we need to remove reference option from this layer. Now let's go back here and select color 14 from the palette. I will also change the brush into technical pen from Inkin. And set its size to 16%. So we can start drawing at the bottom, and then move up. Let's start from the right side. Go down with the curve. And then up again. To the left. 
to be able to fill the shape. We also need to close the invisible part of it. So I will draw inside the frame. Make sure to connect it. And then drag and drop the color inside. Right after that we can select color 13. To draw another shape. This time I will start from the left. Also make a curve like this. That will go down. We just need to match it here on the outer side. And also fill. Let's go upper. And select the next color. That will be number 12. I will just add a smaller shape between these two mountains. That will go like this. Let me just match it. And then I will also fill it. Like this. Now we can outline the shape for the lake. To do that I will select color 11. And start drawing a curve from here. Go up and to the right first. And then to the left. Let's connect these lines here on the outer edge. And then fill. Next I will select color 10. To draw the shore. It will start from the left side and go all the way to the right. Almost straight. Then it may go slightly down. We also need to close the shape. On the left side too. And drag the color here. Let's now add a few more mountains above the lake. For that we can select color 9. And make it not so high. I will start from the left side again. And make this curve. Let's just connect it to the previous shape. And then fill. For the next one let's select color 8. And make it bigger. We can add a peak here. Then move more to the right. And draw the biggest shape on the right. Like this. Let's add a few smaller curves. Then also connect it. And put the color inside it. For the last mountain let's select color 7. And create the peak approximately in the center of the canvas. To keep it balanced. So let me start from here. Make this curve. And then go up like this. Just match it with this mountain. Also draw on the left side. And apply the color. This is what we will get in the end. So when the shapes are ready, we can draw more. So let's go ahead and create a lay between these two. And since this one is already clipped to this one, the new layer will be clipped as well. Let's just select color 4. 
and to draw clouds. I will select basic ink liner. It is from my ink and stipple brush set, which is available on Patreon. We can just set the size to around 31% and draw an arc. Like this. We can now edit it. Drag one of the sides a bit down. So it doesn't look too symmetrical. It may go like this. Let's now outline it here and fill. Right after that I will select color 3 and draw another arc above. It may go this way and we can also adjust it. Here we just need to connect it to the previous shape. And then also fill. It has the slightly textured edge. Now we can create another layer above this one to draw the sun. Is the base color for it? Let's grab color 5. And using the same brush, just draw a circle. We can make the size even bigger to get more texture. I will start drawing a circle here, then wait a second and tap on the canvas to make it perfect. After that we can scale it like this. Let's now drag the color inside it and adjust color draw threshold because it is textured, but it filled fine. We can now scale it again using uniform transformation. I think I will make it slightly smaller and center it more, like this. And to add some cuteness to it, I think we can add rays. And the easy way to do that is to use drawing guides again. So let's go ahead and activate it. It was here in canvas, so we just need to tap here again and then go to edit drawing guide. This time I will select Perspective. We need to tap to create vanishing points. So I will just tap inside the circle, in the center. Also we can move it around, like this. We just need to activate Assisted Drawing and then click Done. With the same brush, I will just lower the size at around 9 or 10%. We can just draw following these lines. Just try to make them approximately same length. Go around the circle. Here it will go horizontal. And then change the angle like this. It is very easy actually. You just need to make strokes fast. Otherwise it won't be snapped and go in different direction. Let me finish it here. Let me adjust a few of this. And now it is fine. We can go ahead and remove the drawing guide since we don't need it anymore. And before we start applying all the textures on the canvas, let's add a few trees at the bottom, so we can first pick the color from here. Then I will create a layer on top of this one and go to select this pine tree branch from the set. It's a free brush from my botanics set, you can get it on Gumroad if you don't have it yet. It works just great to draw trees. And not only pine trees, but other kinds too. First I want to draw a pine tree on the left. So we can set the size to around 3 or 4% and determine the height. I will start drawing from here 
First apply low pressure on the pencil. And increase it while going down. And now we can add more branches on the sides. If you draw with low pressure, we can get smaller ones. Then you can go to the side like this. Some of them can be fluffy. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical at all. So I will make a longer one here. It may go this way. And then finish it by going down. With more branches. Let me also finish here on the right side. I will make longer strokes. The last one. And just match it with the edge of this mountain. I think it turned out quite nice. I will just make a couple adjustments. And now it is ready. Let's move to the right side. And also add some grass. Making strokes with very low pressure. Here we can draw another pine tree. Just make it smaller. I will do it in the same way. I think I will add another branch here. Alright, now it is better. Let me continue with this one. Now I will start adding more branches on the sides. Adjusting the pressure. I think enough here. Now we can grab this dark color from the next mountain. And draw a different tree. So first we can lower the brush size. And draw a vertical trunk. With very low pressure. Let it go this way. Just a line. And after that, we can increase the size again to around 4 or 5%. Start tapping to draw the crown around the trunk. Let me add more branches. They can get smaller. And in order not to make it too perfect, I will add a longer one here. Let me just tap a few more times. Add some fluffiness to it. I think I will just move it a bit to the left. And to be able to do that, I will be using freehand selection. Just remove color fill from it. Outline this tree. Then click on the arrow. And drag it to the left. To put it right here. Also we can use freeform transformation to stretch it up. I think now this one is ready. Let's add some grass here too. I will put it on the right side a little bit. And then draw another pine tree. Somewhere here. Draw in the trunk first, just as we did. And then add a few more branches. Let me put some more grass between these two. And then draw another tree. Also with the trunk like this. So we need to make the size smaller. 
and draw a vertical line this way with low pressure. I think we can make it even thinner. So I will just press less to make a line. It may go upper. And after that we can draw the crown. I will also start tapping, but we need to increase the size. Let's try to create a different shape. Something like this. I will just make it a bit bigger. Maybe even add some curves. Now when this one is ready, I will draw a few more pine trees quickly. Very simple ones. Another one here. With more branches. And a bigger one on the left, but not as big as this one. It may start from here. Now I will paint on the right side of it. Add a few bigger branches, especially at the lower side. Ok, it will be enough. Already looks like a small forest. Here comes the most fun part, where we will apply all the textures. Let's start with the background. It is this on the second layer, so we can create another one on top of it. And go to the color disk to select white color. We just need to double tap here. Now let's open the brush set and select grainy paper. We can make the size at 100% as well as opacity. And just paint all over the canvas. We will get this nice texture. Now we can work on the frame. It is on top of all layers, so we need to create another one on top of it. Then clip it and set it to add. I just want the texture to pop up here. Going back to the color palette to select color 16. And we also need to change the brush. It will be stuck or two. We can now set the size to around 39% and make one stroke around the frame. It will look like foil. We can merge these two layers now and go to the layer with the sun. I will also add another one on top of it. It will be clipped already. And we need to change the slaves mode to add. Also go to select color 6. And for the sun texture, I want to use the brush that is already in Procreate. It is in sketching set. And it is called Artist Crayon. If you now start to draw this way, it will be applied to the layers that are located below this one. And we need to avoid that. So let's do this. First go to the layer with the sun, tap on it and get it selected. You will see the selection around. If it didn't work, you will need to switch to automatic and adjust selection threshold. Then go and reselect it. Also make sure there is no color fill, otherwise it wouldn't work. Now we need to go back to this layer. And if you try to make a stroke now, it will be applied only on the sun, like this. 
By the way, I've set the size to 75%. When the sun is ready, we can remove selection from it. I just want to apply different textures on different layers. So we can now actually go to this one. Let's also add a layer above it. Or actually to apply it on these two layers at the same time, we can create a layer under the sun. I will also pick white. Let me go back to our brush set for the landscape and select craft paper. Let's try to apply it. If you want to make it more visible, you can make another stroke. It'll get more grainy, like this. Let's continue moving down and work on the layers with the mountains. But as you see, we have everything on one layer. So we need to try to separate them to apply different textures on the mountains and on the lake. Let's start with the mountains. We need to go to this layer with the colors, then create another one on top of it and clip. I will also set the layers mode to soft light. To select the texture, let's go to Procreate Organic Set and grab the first brush called Spires. If you now try to make a stroke on the shape, it will also affect the lake. And to avoid it, we can do this. First go to the layer with the mountains. It's this one. Then click on the selection and switch to automatic. Now we can try to tap inside the mountains. And since these colors look very similar, we can select them all at once. All you need to do is slide to the sides to adjust selection threshold. Now let's tap on the brush to activate it. Go to the new layer that we created. Set the size to around 6 or 7% and start drawing on the sides. Let me also put the color here. Then on this one. And to work on smaller shapes, we can make the size a bit smaller. I will keep adjusting it and making the strokes. Let's now work on this one. I think it looks quite realistic and the texture is very nice. I will just continue going down. And finally paint here, on the lower side. Just a couple more strokes. And after we did that, we can select black, so we can apply shadows too. Let me do it on this one. Then on this side, at the bottom of this mountain, then on the left side of this one, we can try to rotate the canvas to change the texture. Let me now shade this one. And go more down. Let's also put this color here. And to make the colors not so bright, we can just go and lower the opacity. At around 70% or so. Now we can add one more layer on top of this one. Then I will also clip it. And set it to soft light again. 
so we can add a few outlines. We already have black color selected. Let's just go back to the landscape brush set and select basic ink liner. We just need to make the size a bit smaller, at around 6%. We can also lower the opacity of the layer. Let's start with 60% and later we can adjust it. So I will just paint on the mountains like this. This way we can also separate them from each other. Let me make another stroke here. And on this one. I will also lower the opacity of the brush. Let's darken this side. And this one too. I will just try to match it with the edges. And after that we can go to white. Create these outlines on the opposite side. I will increase the opacity of the brush. Let's do it this way. And these colors may intersect with the dark lines. Let me put it here. And then at the lower side. We can set it to full opacity here. I will just finish the outlines. Make it a bit more highlighted. And I think now it is enough. Let me remove selection. So now we can work on the lake. We need to select it first. And for that let's go to the slave with the colors again. Then to selection. Make sure it is an automatic. And let's try to tap inside the lake. It selected a bigger area as you see. To fix that, we need to slide to the left side. Then remove selection. And try it once again. Now it worked. So let's add another layer on top of this one and set it to overlay. Here I want to apply craft paper. Just make a stroke inside the lake like this. Let's now remove selection and all we need to do is apply texture on the lower side. We have the trees on a separate layer. And to add texture on them together with the mountains, let's first merge the layers like this. And then also with the trees. Let's now go to try and select it. It worked. Here you can also adjust selection threshold if needed. Now we can add one more layer here on top. Then clip it. I will also set it to overlay and change the brush to stack or two. Let's make a stroke like this. On the dark color it may be not so visible. Let me also lower the opacity of this one at around 74%. And now that we have all the textures, all we need is to add the reflection of the mountains on the lake. It is also very easy to do. We just need to go back to this layer, where we have everything, including the mountains, and use automatic selection. Let's try to tap somewhere here. And then slide to the right carefully. To get the mountains selected. Now in this menu, 
we need to click copy and paste. And it will appear on a new layer. Let's now set it to multiply mode. And lower the opacity to 50%. Then go to transformation. And flip it vertical. Let's adjust it this way. And then grab a razor. I will set it to basic ink liner. And just remove it from this part. Keep it only on the lake. So we will get this. Now the illustration is ready. Let's turn it into night time. To save this one, let's select all the layers and group. I will keep only the frame and the background. Now let's duplicate the group. Go inside it and remove the clouds. Now we need to recolor this part. I will select color 14 from the palette and just drag it this way. And in the next step we will turn the sun into the moon. Let's first merge the layers of the sun with the texture. Remove drawing assist and go to select eraser set to basic ink liner. With the size set to 21%. Let's make a stroke around the sun. To erase the rays. Let me wait a second. And then I will tap to make it perfect. After that we can also adjust the circle. Like this. And now to do it faster. We can use selection. It is set to freehand. And I will create a selection around the circle like this. Let's tap here. And then invert it. Swipe three fingers down. And click cut. Now we can grab a razor again. Increase the size a little bit. And draw an arc inside. Let's edit it. To create a crescent shape. Let's use selection again here. Just outline it. And then cut. And now that we have the crescent, let's add a couple of stars. For that we can select color 5. Let's also make a new layer. Select basic ink liner. I will set the size to 4% and draw a few simple shapes for the stars. Let me put another one here. Then a bigger one. And two more on the left. The last one. And to add texture, we can drag them here. And after this final step, we have the second illustration ready. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Free 7 days trial is still open. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.